In this tutorial, I'll be discussing how to add a VeloTech camera to our NVR system and how you configure it from the beginning using the VeloTech installation wizard and then adding it to our NVR client so software which will allow you to record uh, to a PC-based machine without using any kind of DVR cards. The first thing that you want to do is download the VivoTech software. So open up your browser window and go to www.vivotech.com. From there you click on downloads and scroll down to where you see the software. It's a small file, 2.83 megabytes. It's called IW2. This could change in the future, but uh, as of early 2012, this is the software that's available on their site. Click on download. I've already download. I've already downloaded this uh, this software, um, and I've already installed it. So once you do that, you run the software. And when you first launch the software, it's going to determine what type of network environment you have. In this case, we have this type of setup. Just confirm that everything is correct, and you click Next. And it will then pop up a list of IP cameras that are connected to this network. And as of right now, I've already pre-configured these, but you'll see the model number of all the IP cameras and you'll see the IP address. If you want to, for example, uh, modify any kind of IP settings, just double click on the camera and it'll take you to the Internet Explorer um, setup page for that particular camera. So I'm going to install this add-on. If you don't see this add-on, that means that your browser is blocking ActiveX settings and you want to make sure your ActiveX settings are enabled by clicking on Tools, Internet Options, Security, Custom Level, and anytime it says uh, ActiveX controls, anytime it asks for ActiveX controls, you want to either select Prompt or Enable. In this case, the first setting here is Download Signed ActiveX Controls we're using prompt and then run ActiveX controls and plugins enable support ActiveX controls mark, for, mark safe for scripting enable if you don't have those enabled go ahead and enable them and then restart your browser in this case I do have it enabled so I'm just going to hit run add-on on all websites run and as you can see we have this camera connected and down here you can click on configuration right now we're using the uh, DHCP server to get the IP address automatically uh, if you want to change that to something else you can do that here and click save um, but that's pretty much how you add this how you how you configure the IP camera so that you know what the IP address is and so that you know which camera corresponds to uh, which model number once that's all been done I recommend either writing this down or printing it out or just leaving this window open so that you can refer back to it when you're adding your NVR when you're adding your cameras in the NVR client. So I'm going to launch the NVR client and I've already added these cameras. Um, I've labeled them instead of camera 1, camera 2, camera 3, I've labeled them as the, n the ending number of the IP address. So in this case we have 162, 156, 159, 154, 163, 158, 155, and 158. I've already I've I've added these cameras based on uh, the, those ending IP addresses. Um, so what I can do, if you if you want to add cameras now, what you do is you click on settings, and this is where you have your list of cameras. 
If you want to add, modify, or delete, you have the ability to do so here. So in this case, for example, I'll just delete 154 and then add it again. So I'm going to hit delete, add. I'm going to call it 154. You can call it whatever you want. 192.168.1.154. I'm going to call this uh, a VivoTech camera. Once you, once you label it as a certain type of manufacturer that's available in this list, uh, you'll get a pre-populated connect port, user ID, and password that's the default setting for each manufacturer that's listed here. If you don't see your manufacturer's name in this list, then you can click on OnVIF protocol just as long as your camera is OnVIF compliant. If it's not OnVIF compliant, then you probably should not be using that particular camera with this type of NVR software because it might not be compatible. So anyway, once we get once we enter in the IP address and the server name and you select the device type, you just hit OK. And that camera now has been added to this server. Um, for easy loading, when you when you launch your NVR client, if you want all these cameras to be displayed in a, in a like one group for example you'll click on group set and in window one let's say you want the camera that we just that we just added ending in 154 so you just click the drop down here select 154 it automatically populates the camera number in this case since each edition, each of these IP cameras acts as the server it'll just have an option for camera number one. There are no other options besides camera number one. Um, if you wanted to make it so that, let's say, instead of a 16 camera view split, you wanted to make it four, and then for each, you can you can modify different servers here. So so you would add different IP cameras here. Uh, in this case, we'll leave it as one. Um, you can also make an interval so that, let's say every five seconds, it would rotate if there were another camera here. Um, frame rate, I would just leave it as automatic. Mainstream is a superior picture quality when compared to substream. Substream is ideal for uh, if you have a, an internet connection that doesn't support a high upload speed or if you don't have a lot of bandwidth to play around with you can use your substream here personally I think for megapixel IP cameras you should be using the highest uh, the highest resolution as possible um, so anyway once you have this all set up let's let's say we want to go back to a nine view here because we have eight cameras connected um, you can also change your recording options. Right now they're all set to normal recording. If you wanted motion, you would just click to highlight motion and then click and just drag and drop. Or just drag, no dropping. Uh, click save and then exit. And either you can hit connect all to connect all these cameras or uh, you can just hit connect group one and all the cameras will start loading. This last camera here is an Archon camera, but uh, I'll be showing you how to add that Archon, ca Archon camera in a different video tutorial. For more information or to view our products and services, please visit our website at www.edigitaldeals.net.